So coming back to what I was talking about today, I want to talk to you about gratitude. And this is from chapter nine of avoiding the enemies to happiness. And in this book, Grant Susalo talks a whole lot about the power of contentment. And it's the power of contentment, of savoring, of appreciating, of being thankful for each little moment and how that allows us to be more present and realistically to look at what our personal definition of wealth is. So I want to share with you just quickly the definition that I'm building of wealth and it's not finalized. I, I still have more work to do on this. So what do I consider wealth? But wealth is an attitude and a way of living. It's peace of mind. It's generosity. And for me, if I have health, if I have freedom, if I have choice, I'm wealthy. And under that definition, money then becomes a tool to use instead of being a be all and end all of itself. And so we've been raised, many of us, to compete, to want more. That if I don't have enough, I am not enough. And so there's the challenge of status. There's the challenge of hungering for success. And it's not that hungering for success is a bad thing, but at the same time, is it really a good thing? Gratitude and contentment changes everything. It allows us to look at life and say, what is do I really have? So the true, uh, the Dalai Lama says that the true antidote to greed, and we see a lot of greed in the world today, is contentment. It's when we truly appreciate everything that we already have. So I want you to take a moment and notice what you have. Do you have your health? Do you have a roof over your head? Do you have food in the fridge and on the table? Do you have transport? Do you have a job? All those things that we can appreciate. We celebrate also experiences because at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but for me, the whole reason I might want more money is for the experiences and the adventures that this brings. It's not about having money in order to have things. It's having money in order to buy the experiences. And so when we shift our attention and we focus on our contentment, we focus on the moment. What do I have? So Grant also talks in here about bliss pointing and bliss pointing is that, that, that satisficing place where we have enough, where we don't need any more. And so I, I invite you to look at gratitude because when we're grateful, people who practice gratitude, are generally found in studies to about 20, 25% happier than the rest of the population. Focusing on gratitude then opens up the possibility of happiness to you, okay? You can't do the negative emotions of complaining when you're doing gratitude, when you're being in that place of actually noticing and appreciating what you have all of those negative emotions of envy, of greed, for example, don't have a space because they don't coexist. And so it's about creating and evoking, I think, that spirit of joy. Okay. So what are you truly grateful for? Okay. What is that generosity that you have in your life that you want to share with others? 
can you savor those blessings? Can you look at them and say, yes, this is what I want to have? So when we look at this, I want you to look at what are the blessings in your life? What are you showing appreciation for this month? What are the positive aspects of life that you could focus all of your attention and energy on that would grow them? Are there simple joys in your life that you've been overlooking because you've been focused on other things? Okay. And so I want to take us through a small exercise that Grant has here in Avoiding the Enemies to Happiness. And it's about contentment. It is about interrupting that complaining, that not enoughness, and really focusing on what you have. So take a moment, get comfortable in your chair, perhaps put your feet flat on the floor, and just breathe in gently and deeply, preferably belly breaths, and the same count in as out so that you're balanced, breathing evenly, easily, effortlessly, both in and out to that same rhythm. And for a moment, I want you to recall an act of kindness that you've done for someone else. It might be charitable, it might just be someone on the street, it might be simply a smile that you shared. Perhaps it's even a hug that you've given to a child or a grandchild. And just notice and feel the pleasure of what you've done. And as you remember this experience, focus all of your attention on the feelings of loving, of caring, and appreciation that you have in your heart. If you want to, if it works for you, put both hands on your heart. Just connect more deeply with that feeling in your heart. And allow that feeling to grow and to expand. And notice the feelings of generosity, of kindness, of compassion that grow in your heart as you focus on this moment of kindness. And expand that into all the way up to your head. Expand that down into your stomach, into your belly, deep into your bowels, all the way down to your toes and to your fingertips. And just continue breathing in. If you need to, as you're inhaling, I want you to inhale compassion for yourself. And as you're exhaling, exhale gratitude, compassion, and loving kindness for others. And allow all of this to just flow through all of your body. See your heart with each heartbeat, pumping that gratitude, that appreciation, that loving kindness into every cell of your being. And keep on doing this until you feel completely satiated. So you have enough to you feel completely full and overflowing with compassion, with kindness, with gratitude and appreciation. And allow yourself in this state to just make a quick mental list of your personal wealth of happiness of all those experiences, of all those springs of joy that you have, perhaps quite simple things in your life that bring you joy. And allow yourself to truly feel that fullness of your life all the way deep into your belly. Let your, oh dear, I've got thunder happening here. Sorry guys. Let your belly feel full of gratitude. When you've taken your foot fill, when you're feeling that absolute contentment, you just come back to yourself and go about your day. But it's really about being able in each and every moment 
to be grateful, to appreciate all that is happening in your life that is going well. Have a great afternoon and I'll see you next time. Bye.